What up YouTube, I figure I'll make a video. I ain't did an update in a while. I got the frame back from uh, being sandblasted. And uh, I started the process of putting the support bars and stuff on it. Got the bumpers put on. They're already tightened on both ends. Got both the bumpers put on. So, I got these ends boxed in. They're all boxed in. I gotta cut that out and down a little bit more to open it up for the body mount to go in there. Also replace those body mounts, the body mount uh, hole on both sides. Get that one over there. Got this one in, same thing over here. Gotta cut that out lower. Open it up so the body mount can go in it. Got that in. Got this template made out. I ain't cut it out yet though. Got this template. It'll go right in there. Weld it. Come over here, flip it around. Weld it over here. I got my sheet metal. A few extra support bars. I said I got the back tied in. Already started on the uh, back here. Got the rear one, the shock tower one, and I got the one all the way up in front. Which most people be complaining about how they can't get the welds all the way up in here, which I don't think I have too much of a problem getting them in. I got them all in. But the main thing I've been focusing on, well, looking up other people's videos is exactly how they got their stuff routed. I see some people make diamonds out of them or triangles. I seen X's going across. I also seen just straight. Easiest thing for me probably is going to be where I got these big ones right here. Go straight down. I weld all that up in there so it's connected to the shock tower. Weld it up to both ends. Take this piece, put it down there. Do the same thing on that side, weld it up. Put the other piece in it down there. And I'll probably add a third one. Come down the middle, connecting it down there. And I think I'll be done. I ain't gonna do too much more. And I said other than put those in. I don't know if I'm gonna go with the uh, cross member support bar. It goes across here. I don't think I'll be putting that much horsepower in this car for that to really matter. I got to one that attaches to the body that keeps the uh, dry shaft from ever uh, popping up. That's what it is, dry shaft bar. But I already got one of them that connects to the undercarriage of the body. So I, I ain't really too stressed out about it. But I thought I'd do a little bit of an update. Like I said, they're all in, all sturdy. I could pick up the whole frame if I wanted to buy any one of these bars. But I do gotta flip it over, finish welding a few spots underneath. Could have got it if I had a welding jacket, but I just don't feel like being burnt, so I flipped the whole frame over. But yeah, that's the idea I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with is straight down. Come up straight down. Like I said, then tie. Tie these edges in, get all the welds, fill up that hole, and go along there. And then, I don't know, I can put a piece of metal, or I can fill it in, or I can leave it open. I don't know. That's an idea. Or, I can move them in some. Move them in a little bit more, have these in the middle. But I'm not, I'm not too sure on exactly what I want to do. Only reason why I really don't want to do the diamond or X is I really don't feel like doing no more extra cutting at an angle and stuff. Had a uh, table saw or something like that, it probably make it easier. But me just using the saws all and the uh, cut off wheel, it makes it a little hard to get that angle right on both sides without it being a little off. And then it 
just a time consuming trying to grind and grind to get them back even. But once I do that, I really can do the frame notch right now. To at least cut the piece out without really worrying about it. But I do want to get those legs put in, those few extra support pieces before I notch it out. We'll be cutting it out probably behind the seam a little bit. Just in case I ever want to run some uh, some 11s. I can be able to run 11s with no problem. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this update.